Now to some other stories, it might sound weird and difficult to imagine, but here's a sad story of a 14 year old calling Sampong. He got both legs chopped off by a chainsaw at Asankra Bremen in the Western region. The incident is said to have happened when he and his 11 year old brother were playing on a local sawmill machine around 4 p.m. on Monday. Eyewitnesses say the boy who's lost both legs was seen sitting close to the cutting edge of the machine as his other brother unknowingly sparked the sharp bladed device that ripped off both legs instantly. Correspondent Ina Thalia joins us on the phone with more details. Hello, Ina. Really, really disturbing story there. Uh, but tell us how the boy is doing today. Then is the boy is still at the at St. Catholic Hospital. Um, doctors have told the family that they would have to transfer him to um, Okonfanoche Hospital in Kumasi, but the family are saying that they are financially handicapped. Apparently, the mother has got no business or she's not working at the moment. So uh, he is staying with an auntie in Asenkugwa. Uh, the feet, according to them, they had left it at the place where it was chopped off and then they took the boy to the hospital so they cannot do anything with the mm. two legs which have been chopped off so they have to transfer him. Mm. And, 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 and you know, this may be quite hard to describe but tell us at, um, at what point on his leg uh, got chopped off? Is it from his knee or his ankle? W how exactly? Where exactly well, did that happen? From his knee uh, has been chopped off. Uh, it's, it's very disheartening for the videos I sent. I don't know if we can show it, but it's, it's very disheartening. If you see the video, it was chopped off. So you see the boy lying on the ground crying and people coming in there to see what really is happening. Mm. The owner of this company says that every time of this, of this chainsaw machine says that every time he makes announcements in the community that children shouldn't come around the area. Mm. But yesterday, he didn't know what happened. He had gone to a store. He had built clothes there. And so he just had the boy shouting, and he came out only to see um, this. Mm. And, and Ina, just uh, we can see some shots now mm. where the, the, the chainsaw machine is. It appears there's yeah. a house on the side. Yeah. Does this boy live close? Were there any adults around who could have prompted them to, you know, uh, leave the site. Well, Ben, is, um, according to the owner who uh, we spoke to, he says that it is, he's a carpenter, so he just bought these machines and then he works with it. And so his house is just close by, there is a store, and this boy does not live so far, but as to how they managed to get there, it's something difficult for both the family and then the owner of this chainsaw machine to um, tell us. Well, Ina, we'll leave it here for now. Really heart-wrenching story there uh, from our Western Region correspondent. Uh, the very latest on this incident is that the young boy needs to be transferred to the Confanochi Teaching Hospital, but the family is unable to fund that.